everybody and welcome back to day 3 of my 12 days of drama series. I hope these videos aren't getting annoying for you guys. Um, I was a little bit nervous to uh, do a daily video thing because, I don't know, I feel like I'm spamming people. But a lot of people do this so I guess it's kind of normal at this time of year, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways... Today I wanted to do a bit of a watercolour illustration because I do a lot of Copic marker stuff so I really really wanted to use my new watercolour set. The idea for this drawing kind of came to me randomly and I was trying to aim for a sort of style that you would probably see on a Christmas card. As you can tell I decided to draw a little, a cute little reindeer. And basically the reindeer has like string over its antlers and little Christmas decorations hanging off those strings. I thought it was a really cute little idea and why not try it out? Because usually when I get these random little ideas that don't really make sense, they end up turning out pretty cool anyways. So yeah, I am mostly inking the piece onto some of my uh, cold press watercolour paper. Now this stuff is, I'm pretty sure it's the rough texture, but I really wanted to try this one out. And I used mostly my uh, Copic Multiliners to ink it. And I used a little bit of uh, lead pencil for the string. And that's mainly because I wanted to go over the string and use my gold ink. Wait, no, my silver ink. I'm pretty sure I decided to use silver ink. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I started off doing a light wash on the background with some blue. Because I decided to do blue because, I don't know, it kind of gives it a cold uh, Christmas feel, you know, with snow and that kind of thing. And I thought it would look pretty good. As you can tell I'm going very carefully over the whole piece and this was actually when I before I bought my um, masking fluid uh, that I showed off in my art supply haul video so I was kind of wishing I had my masking fluid at the time but I ended up going through it anyways now if anyone's wondering I actually taped this piece onto a bit of uh, glass uh, <laughs> which came from a photo frame and I mainly did that because I did not want to cover up most of the, um, the, the, the glitter paper I have for the background there because it's a nice gold colour. Um, I hope these glittery paper backgrounds aren't annoying to you guys. I kind of prefer the silver uh, one over the gold, but I want a bit of variety, so yeah. Obviously I put a little bit of tape over the edges of the glass because I did not want to cut myself and I decided to play it safe. But anyways, back to the artwork. I decided to use a bit of warm sepia for the uh, reindeer here. And I actually really, really like this colour. It's very nice. It's a very nice warm kind of brown and I really like it. I wanted to go over the whole thing to try and get nice even flat colour and then after that once it was dry I would go back over the details. Now for the antlers I decided to use the other brown colour which is in this illustration. I can't exactly remember what it's called um, but I will probably put that in a description or something but yeah I used that colour for the antlers and the eyes. And also little details like the, his little muzzle around his mouth and little shadows and patterns on him as well. I also put that colour um, on the tips of his ears because I thought it would look cute. And I think it does look pretty cute <laughs> if I say so myself. Thank you. 
Now for the ribbon around his neck. I decided to uh, go in a bit of an opposite direction because a lot of these colours on this reindeer are very soft and light and I wanted a bit more contrast so I used a very strong dark red for the ribbon and I think I think that was probably one of the best decisions for this piece because it kind of uh, draws more eye to their character and it also looks really nice. Um, I think it contrasts pretty well. After that I went around the reindeer and added a little bit more detail here and there like some shadows under his uh, neck and little shadows on top of the head and on the, the base of the antlers. And yeah I think this artwork turned out pretty nice. Um, I really like the fine details on the antlers. Um, on the little the little decorations hanging off his antlers there. I've got the little candy canes and stars and holly and that kind of thing. And I really like how they turned out. Um, it was a very uh, fiddly thing to do because watercolour is not the best thing to control. And they were very tiny as well. <laughs> but overall I'm pretty happy with it. Once I got all of those done, the last thing I needed to do was go over the strings with my silver uh, Liquitex gold ink and I'm really happy I did that because I don't know when I add little tiny uh, embellishments with the gold ink or I don't know um, like sparkly washi tape it kind of just shines and like stands out really nicely so yeah thank you all so 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 much for watching I hope you enjoyed this uh, video make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another 12 days of dramas video bye everyone